home sweet home. We just moved in and we've never seen this place before. Brandon fighting the door already. <laughs> Problem number one. There we go. Okay, so this is the place. Really, really nice deep sinks. Dishwasher. Uh, oh, okay, that's the ballet trash. So we'll have two trash cans ish. Uh, that's the sunroom right there, which is nice and spacious. It's a nice size. And the TV will be right here. And there. So I'm glad we're doing a wall mount because. Yeah, you can see it pretty well from here, can you? And this is the master bedroom. So our new bed should fit in here just nicely. Okay, this is Brandon's closet. It's a very good size for him. And he has a lot of storage space. Honestly, my bags would do well in here. Yeah, what was that? That's a linen closet. His and her sinks. Ah, a nice curb. I like that it comes with this. On to the next one. Oh, and it's all carpeted. Um, right here. This is the other bedroom. This is the other bedroom, it's a bit smaller. I think it's like a kid's room or something. Yeah. We're gonna make it into a movie game room. It's really small, so once my shoe rack's going to here, good luck. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, where are my shoe racks gonna go? Where, there's three of them. Come see, where? Where would they go? I'm just asking you. So this is gonna be my closet because I get up earlier than Brandon and that way I can get dressed without making noise. Yep, and that's it. Oh yeah, so I forgot to show you. It's got the laundry room and the cat's gonna be in here. Maybe in that corner actually. Though knowing him, he's gonna get food under this and I won't be able to clean it, so. I'm not sure what, if it's going to be his food or his litter box, but we'll see. Brana, what do you think? What? Food or litter box. This tub is rectangular, but it's deeper, so it's really good for a nice soak. So yeah, I like this bathroom. What I love about it is that you can access it from the bedroom and from the sunroom. So that's really nice. Kind of like we had at Gibson. Except that was the guest room that could access it. And that's it. It's moving day and it's been a nightmare so far. Not a nightmare, okay. We we're supposed to get this at nine and we came and we didn't realize we had to check in with the phone. Okay, I think he knew that. But he had to check in with the phone and now we just did a little scavenger hunt to come to the lock boxes to get our key and pretty much the only way to identify which one's ours is those codes up there so we're gonna go grab ours and i just thought this is this is interesting let me bring y'all along because we're about to drive this thing that's this big because they didn't have anything smaller for us but uh yeah so brandon's gonna see if got this one of us has to drive the other car back so it's gonna be either or we're both on this so we'll see <laughs> oh my gosh meanwhile our friends are like practically at home waiting for us and we weren't fully packed and I think I'm running on like two and a half hours of sleep I don't know how much sleep Brandon got but So gas is full. 
He has to document the mileage. And that's it. Do you want me to drive or do you think you got it? Do you want me to, like, let me know. Um, no question with the camera. <laughs> I will be right back. I feel Toby. I feel weird. Like, I wish this chair raised up or something. Oh, I'm driving with my slippers because I can't find my shoes. I think I packed them <laughs> up already. And I grabbed his jacket thinking this is warm. It's a freaking rain jacket. It's cold. Yeah. Well, let's head on out because okay. the people are waiting. But I love you. Hold on. I can't release the gas. The brake. We've been unloading the U-Haul for, I don't know, uh, how long? Well, our friends just left, so I guess that's it. Um, there's a few things left in the house that we didn't get to bring because the U-Haul was getting full. Uh, I look like, <laughs> I'm so tired, you guys not even know. I am not kidding, like we are exhausted. Brandon just had to drive the U-Haul back. Um, so I drove it from the U-Haul place home, we loaded it, I drove it from the house to the new place. Um, and then he had to drive it back because our internet connector guys are coming. They gave us a three hour window and we didn't want to miss them because if you do, you're like on your own for another bunch of days. So we didn't want to miss them. Um, so instead of me being back home, sorting it out like I had planned because I have the cleaners coming at three o'clock and I have somewhere to be by six o'clock, my whole day is like ruined now because I... I'm stuck here waiting for the guys. And then they just called him and he has, you know, because they have his phone number. They just called him saying they wouldn't be here for another hour. So I really could have gone back with him and gotten my car and started running all my errands and tidying up some more because the house is still a mess. It's got a whole lot of stuff in it that needs to be packed up and thrown away a lot of trash. Um, a lot of things going to Goodwill. A lot of things... Um, I go to clothes mentors and I try to sell stuff as well so that if they do want it, they can buy it off me because there's some things that are new, but I will never wear. Um, and then whatever they don't take, I take to Goodwill. So I'm just really exhausted. And we did not eat anything. We have not had anything to eat since um, since 8 o'clock last night. So, But anyway, Brandon's best friend's going to bring him back from the U-Haul place. Then... One of us can run around with his car while the other one stays put and all that jazz. So we're going to try to make this happen somehow. But it would feel like a little crippled, especially because I have my volunteer um, event tonight that I don't want to cancel. But honestly, I'm getting to the point where I might call out, but it would be an absolute last resort. Uh, I'm also supposed to wear black shoes. I boxed up all my shoes. I'm wearing flip-flops today and it is cold. I left my jacket because I boxed it all up. Brandon had to get me his nice jacket from his car because I was like, I am freezing. I'm fr <laughs> It's just been one of those days. But once we get some coffee in us, some food, I think we'll be better. But for now, we're just burnt out. I think tomorrow is going to be a very like long nap day. Like you stay in bed and watch TV kind of days. Anyway, I just wanted to give you an update about this move and what's going on. If I look toe up, it's because I am. <laughs> Leave me alone. Katie, when I have to move this little guy. Mateo, how you feeling? <laughs> He's like, where are we, Starbucks? Why? I'll take a cup of whipped cream, thank you. <laughs> going to your new home. Good morning guys. I came on here bummy because why lie to you guys? 
It's been a week since our move and I have the craziest week at work so I have not had time to do anything. Um, but I thought I would come on here <laughs> and show y'all the progress. We have not unpacked anything, however, I sort of just moved my mirror here because Mateo ran into it one time and broke the legs so I figured I'd put that up so we don't crack it. Uh, I just put a whole bunch of my wedding boxes out here and then I, of course, just <laughs> threw this together. I have my work stuff down there and yeah, Mateo loves this little elephant right here. Every chance he gets, he comes and knocks it down. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is the setup right now. <laughs> not much of a setup, really. Not, nothing is set up, nothing at all. Um, however, you see these empty boxes? I ordered these on Amazon, I think the day before we moved, it came like the next day. And I just had the coolest people come install this. So this is my favorite part of the house now because I get a TV that swivels for once. And it's so that I can watch from the kitchen while I like make something. I can just still catch up on my TV. Um, and then I can just shove it backwards and it should fold right down. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah. Oops. That's gonna happen a lot. I think I'm gonna bang it into the wall a lot, but that's what it looks like when it's flattened. And this was super affordable. I think all three cost me maybe 70 bucks on Amazon. I'm gonna have to hide these cords because I don't want my tail running into them and taking the whole thing down. But this is the bedroom so far. Um, there's a bunch of stuff on here because the chrome stick won't fit anymore and we gotta take the legs off the TV. But this TV is now up in the bedroom. We'll once again have to hide the cords, uh, but not as important in this room because Mateo is not really allowed here too much now. Um, and this is our new bed set. We wanted to go up in size. My favorite part of this is, of course, this little guy. Um, I get to raise the bed now, which is dream come true. Um, and it's also got the uh, feet go up as well. So I'm putting it down because that was up all night. Um, so that's down. That's down. Okay, cool. Um, and I love this because it has the little pluggies. Um, it even has one for the iPhone. Um, but that's what we did in here. So TV stand thingies up. You can see it from the bed now. And so is it in here? And then lastly, this is... <laughs> The messiest of messies. This is my shoe room. In, oh my god, my wedding dress is still on the floor because I gotta take the Divis bridal, get it dry cleaned, and box it up. And my reception dress. And <laughs> my funky hat. I love this hat. Um, and they put the TV up because we're gonna make this room the TV room. Uh, I'm gonna get maybe like a couch or something to go in here. So it'll be my room and a movie room, a no distractions movie room. It's very small, so we figured we'd do something that both of us can enjoy, but I have nowhere else to house my stuff, so thus. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. There's clothes in the trash bags, because at some point we, we ran out of time packing, and I just started shoving things in there. There's clothes in there as well, clothes in there, Nigerian clothes in the black one. There's a lot of stuff in here, and my little baby, my hedgehog, is in <laughs> in my closet because there's no room for him out here just yet. I want to clear it out, and it's actually good because I can lock the door and keep Mateo out of bugging him. We caught him the other day just reaching his hand into the cage and like trying to tap his thing to wake him up, which is so rude. Um, and then the shoes, the bags are trying to go up, working on it. That's the bag I'm selling for um, a friend. Um, the coach bag. So if you're interested and it's still available, write me. Uh, but it's really big. Oh, I should give you some light in here. So I'm still working on that because this is a, this is a bit of a mess. A uh, little laundry bin. Um, but yeah, so the cords are crazy, which you know we didn't have a choice the way they set it up. So I'm probably gonna get a wall thing to make this all together and then um, I'll get an adapter or something and find a nice way to house them so that the boxes aren't on the floor. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you the progress. It's not much, but you know, could be worse. Um, and we got a little man situated. He, um, he was struggling with the move. Um, he 
Couldn't figure out his litter box system. So we figured the food was too close to the litter box. So we brought the food out, which is going to be a nightmare when I need to take baths. But I figured after he's re-potty trained, we'll put his food back in there. And his little sleeping bag can be... Oh, I don't know. We'll see. We just need to... He's gone in there, like, to pee. And he goes in there once in a while. But, like, he likes the carpet for some reason. And so, yeah. So that's what we're working on. And that's all the update I have for you. I have candles going because in the midst of the storm, there's peace. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Brandon gets his own closet because, you know, my junk was in the other one. Uh, and that's it. This is, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this is it. Okay, decided to take down my bun and Show y'all what that looks like. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now you know I'm due for a retightening like crazy. for the first time. So far, not so bad. <laughs> so cute.
that, let's go to the edge and die, shall we?